Hello, this is JD with Wood in the Wind. I am uh, actually making a uh, one of those um, pumpkin lanterns, or at least I'm trying to. Now I've already cut the main pieces, which is the back, the front, and the sides. Now what we used was we used 18 inches of uh, one by 10. I cut two of those and we used 18 inches of 1 by 8. I've used two of those also as well. Sorry, there are people actually doing yard work. My neighbors, they picked just the time I decided to start this video to start making noise. So I am sorry about the noise. Alright, what I've been doing is making my measurements for my eyes. My nose and my mouth. Alright, been marking those off so I could actually draw the picture of it. Now I'm going to have uh, a little miss come out here and I'm going to have her actually draw the uh, nose, eyes, and mouth. So I'll be back with you whenever I get the little mess out here and hopefully you will have stopped making all that noise. Thank you. Bye. What do you feel like on my eyes? They're cool, so I was asking. Oh, uh, there's the there's square one. ones. Go back to the square ones. I know those are square ones. What do you feel like doing for eyes? Okay, I can't draw, so... You could probably draw better than I can. These are the eyes? Yep, those are eyes. Fill up that space. For one eye. See, these eyes are close, though. Yeah, I'm not. So you want it like that. Something like that, or like that, or whatever. So, like, you want it? Yeah, like that, but you're gonna have to go bigger. Do you have a... No, you don't need to, just go from... No, do you have, like, a, a straight... A straight edge? Yeah, got my um uh, right here. Okay. I just want to make the line straight ish. Straight ish. <laughs> I better not be on the video or on the You're gonna delete that. <laughs> okay. Let's see how much of it I delete. I'm not even, baby, you can see my fat arms and everything. <laughs> how big is that? I'm not, babe, seriously, you better stop it like now. We'll, we'll video it and then we'll see what you think of it. How's that set? Um, I think delete it. No, I need to feel all of it. <laughs> From line, line, line. Like, seriously? Yeah. Okay, things have finally quietened down. Uh... Sorry about earlier, I got a little bit annoyed, but it seems like every time I try to record, everybody wants to make noise. <laughs> Whether it be neighbors, household, whatever. But 
I just got to learn patience. This is the key thing here. I come up with a weird little face that I'm going to go with. And we're going to try to cut this thing out. Now, granted, that's one weird looking face, but we'll see how that turns out. Now, for that, I'm going to need to grab my drill. I have really got to organize this shop. I, it's a mess right now. I'm dealing with absolutely nothing for storage. I mean, I've got this shelf, which everything's piled on that shelf, really, and scattered around and about. But let me get these holes drilled, get this cut out, and turn this on real let you quick. see what we've got. I'm gonna. Ask Okay, I'm back. I cut it out. Uh, that's why you need an organized shop because honestly, I had that wood glue. Right now, oh, I found it. I found it. It fell. That's why it's important to have a that's why it's important to have a organization on your shop. Cut you down on time because you're not looking for your stuff every time you turn around. Don't be like me. Now, granted, I don't reckon it has to be perfect, but I do want it to be as good as I can get it right now. All I'm using is the basics. I don't have a whole lot. I definitely don't have a planer. Wish I did. Maybe eventually I'll be able to get one. That way I start doing other projects. Like my wife really wants me to make her a cutting board. I got smoke I put together, but I ain't got a planer. Take it all down to the same thickness. Okay. Whenever you put glue on, don't put it on the wrong surface. Because I just did. Okay, put this back up here. This is the end it's supposed to go on. Okay, now do this. I'm using eighteen gauge one inch uh, staples. They're called crown staples.
this other side though. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Now I gotta do the base and the top. Okay, now I gotta make the stem. And for the stem, these are all 18 inches, one by tens for the front and back, one by eights for the sides. Then I got a piece of one by ten here, and I cut it to eight and three quarters. That fits perfectly on the top. Get the oriented this way, put the one by eights inside, and then attach the one by tens to it. And that, as you can see, got rid of that noise for right now. And this right here, cut it out, and that's going to be the stem, which is going to go on the center of the top. Then you make your base uh, out of whatever you want. Um, most likely, uh, I'll probably use some old plywood I have laying around here for the base for this one. So this one's just going to be for personal use. And that's basey enough right there. So, yeah, I'll use the old plywood for this. I'll just clean it up a little bit, make it look a little better. And uh, let's get going. And the next round is on the way. Now, let's see. Y'all know what I did with my jigsaw? Oh, there it is. Found it. Simple little cut. Like I said, first time. So, for my first time, I don't think it's really that bad. Now, let me adjust this. Now, put this out of the way. And I've got some cleanup to do and stuff. I'm going to actually probably do some wood burning to finish out the outline of the eyes. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Oh, yeah. It fell. Like that's anything new. Okay. Calls for an inch and a quarter brad staples, but I'm using one inch because that's all I have. I will probably go back with some screws maybe and touch it up. Add a couple of screws here and there. But right now.
Now it's time to clean this up. That's how I'm going to do it on here. I traced out my edges so I know about where to put my glue. I didn't think this through. I shouldn't have. Should put this on first. But I do need to make a cut out here first. So, I've got to be able to put the candle in here. I do have to make a cutout for the candle. I just cut a little hole. Not much. Enough to put a key candle in there or something. All right. Liberally put that glue on there.
since I forgot to do that earlier. I could have done this without the clamps, but I put the top on first, which made the clamps necessary. easier if you draw your lines on the bottom too for where it's going to be. Messed up that one. I missed my hole. Because <laughs> I didn't draw my lines. Man, you end up dropping tools on your foot all the time. Seems to be a bad habit right now for me. That makes the third time in three days I've, well, no, fourth time in three days I've dropped something on my foot. Might have to start wearing steel toe boots. Honestly, I really don't want to have to do that. Save my little piggly wigglies down there, I might have to. Okay, that's enough to where I can maybe pull that out. No, not yet, but it's getting there.
I've seen those pliers just I knew I've seen pliers go ahead and pull this staple the rest of the way out now we got a pumpkin I burn a little bit on it and uh, let the wife do some painting and uh, we'll see what this thing looks like afterwards I'll be back all right uh, I'm back and uh, a little miss went ahead and decided to put a light coating of a red mahogany stain on the big one, which is about two foot tall. And then I made a small one too while she was doing that. And the small one I actually took and used, uh, I took a two by six, a nine, nine inch piece of two by six. I ripped it in half. Um, and made them about three quarters of an inch thick and uh, then I took a nine inch piece of uh, two by four and I did the same thing uh, now this is after I took off the curved edge so I trimmed off the curved edge and then I here's what we've got all right and this is other piece this is another two by six that I did the same thing to as I did the front and back all right and the um, and that's two by four that I ripped in half making three quarters of an inch thick all right I trimmed it down some on this two by six here to where I put a candle inside and that was made out of a piece of scrap that was left over. And there's my other one. She's gonna paint this one so. But, I mean, easy to make. I did it all with what you see here. And the jigsaw, which I know you can't see the jigsaw, but you can see my messy shop. There's a jigsaw. I've got some cleaning to do on the shop. So. But that right there is pretty darn good. So it just proves what little bit you can do, you know, to kind of maybe build up something to some money to buy other tools, stuff like that. And that's what I'm doing. I'm actually selling these pieces to come up with a little more cash where I can buy some more tools to where I can do more complicated jobs uh, or better work on some jobs. Um, and I'm also wanting to get into doing the uh, cutting boards and serving trays. And I really want a planer for that. Because a lot of my stuff I actually do mill down to what I need. Instead of going out and buying specific stuff, I'll actually buy like 2 by 6s or 2 by 4s or something like that. And then I'll mill it down to what I need as I did with this little pumpkin here. I just milled it down to what I needed. I hand drew the face and then I took a drill of course and started my holes to where I'd get my jigsaw blade in there and, and sanded them out. So, till next time, like, subscribe, and comment give me some advice give me some ideas of what you might want to see thank you bye